Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. Hello, welcome back everyone. This is case number 18 in abdominal radiology. Today our case is a neonate presented with abdominal distension and constipation. So this is the anteroposterior radiograph of the abdomen of that neonate. So, so you can see a line here. So it's um, like a venous catheter, and uh, the other abnormalities are you can see a curvilinear lucency extending outside the pelvic cavity. So that's a, a sac like within a sac. It is located within a sac, and within that sac, there's a curvilinear lucency. So it's a probably a inguinal scrotal hernia. Any bowel loops outside the pelvic cavity is considered as a herniated sac. So it's a inguinal scrotal hernia. And also, apart from that, you can see some absent uh, poly normal polygonal pattern of the bowel. So the bowel loops are here distended here. Distended bowel loops you can see. Here. Here. There are dilated bowel loops. However, no significant items, they are dilated to some extent. And here also, it's a dilated bowel loop. You don't see any uh, pneumoperitoneum or intramural layer or pneumatosis intestinalis. Here, you can't see the liver shadow here, so you can't comment on water venous gas. And there are no obvious bony abnormalities. The visualized bones are normal. And um, so in this case the diagnosis is uh, bowel obstruction bowel obstruction due to inguinoscortal hernia so it's very important to look at the structures outside the pelvic cavity and also you have to see those uh, uh, things like gastrochysis and omphalosis also you can see abnormal rounded structures in the region of umbilicus or umbilical hernias so those are some abnormalities here and also you have to see the complications of bowel obstruction like uh, pneumasterosis intestinalis pneumoperitoneum and porta venous gas so in the deck position you can see whether there's gas under the diaphragm or continuous diaphragm signs and also in supine position you can see the football signs uh, in the abdomen so those are a few features so apart from that the next line of investigation it also sounds kind of abdomen and scrotum you need to see the test is uh, within the sex, portal sex, or the sectopic testis. In the meantime, you have to see that the syndromic abnormalities. So, you have to check the whole patient. So, you have to exclude other hernias like diaphragmatic hernias, like that. So, that concludes case number 18 in abdominal radiology. So, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, then you'll get notifications of our new videos, and also you can comment on our videos. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.